Hi guys, it's Debbie with Kip's Corner. Welcome back, and if you're new, welcome. Today I have a flip through of the sketchbook. It's done, yay. This is a um, design team project for Susan Taylor Brown. Her Etsy shop is Poppiness, um, P-O-P-P-I-N-E-S-S, -S, so Poppiness on Etsy. Um, Susan, Ta Susan Taylor Brown. <laughs> um, let's see if we can find our words today. So before I, well, let's see, let me, um, let me give you measurements real quick. We're at about five and a half inches wide by about seven and three quarters inches tall and one and three quarters inches on the spine. The base of this book was a um, Reader's Digest condensed book um, that was in disrepair. And so she's been covered and given a new life. Um, before I go any further, I wanna say oops and uh, apologize. I had asked in my last video when I was kind of working on some of the pages inside if anybody was interested in seeing a five-hole stitch um, pamphlet, five-hole pamphlet stitch <laughs> signature sewing in, whatever. I, like, I'm, I definitely am not finding my words today. Anyway, and I did have a couple of people who were interested in seeing that video, and I actually did record, uh, so I thought, while I was stitching these in and did a nice little explanation and tutorial and lo and behold, I wasn't recording. So um, <laughs> yeah, lesson learned there. Um, let me check, yes, I'm recording now. Um, so I, uh, I don't have that video. So what I will do in the next journal I make, I will be sure to record that process. I also do have an older video where I've recorded that. So I will, um, I'll link that video down below in the description so that you'll at least have it um, to reference. And then I'll do another one next time I, I, next journal I put together. So my apologies for that. All right, so let's dive right in here. The cover, I have a video showing me make the cover. This is um, a frame with some texture paste, um, crackle paste on it, painted, um, gilder's wax. I've wrapped the edges here with, this is actually a cork fabric, so it's, it's nice and soft. Had a boo-boo down here, so I put this plate on. It says, possibility begins with imagination, um, and I actually really like it on there. Got metal book corners, um, vintage lace in the background here. And then on the spine, I have a little bead doodad that, that um, I think kind of, like this bead was made for this fabric. It just matches so beautifully, it almost blends in. And then the back, just more book corners. And I just left the fabric blank on the back. Sorry, silk closure. And the butterfly here in the middle has a, um, kind of left it wrinkly, so it gets a little bit of texture there. and. It has um, beeswax covering it, so it's nicely protected. And then there's this suede piece that this all sits on. So that's the cover. Let's dive in. This type of closure, it's a knob closure. Um, Tim Holtz, uh, you can get these are Tim Holtz knob closures. You can get them other places too. Um, but, but the way this works, there's extra here in case the book gets a little fatter. But you just press and then that just loop just pops right off and it pops right back on. That way you don't have to untie um, every single time you get into the journal. All right, here we go. Here we go. Okay. The um, end sheet here is from an old book that was, was gutted and it was the fly sheet in that book. And so um, I've used it here. And this is a vintage lace handkerchief here forming the pocket and I've just sewn around that edge and then inside we have this um, library card comes with the kit uh, I, oh I should mention that the second kit I used in this book was um, the sketchbook from Love Junk Journals which is Tracy Fox and then the design team project kit that I used is called Forest Morning it's an eco dyed kit from Susan Taylor Brown and um, they just, they're beautiful together. They really work well. I think, I hope you'll agree. 
So, library card. And then we have a tag that I made with um, some vintage lace and a little ticket from the sketchbook kit. These butterflies were on um, one of the pieces in the sketchbook kit and I just fussy cut them. And I also beeswaxed those. So they have a little bit of a translucent look to them. Some sorry silk here in the closure. And then of course the background paper is from Susan Taylor Brown. On the back, I printed a few sheets of Susan's papers um, in a transparency mode, took the opacity down to, I think it was about 50% um, before I printed it. And so it gave me this lighter, still light enough to write on, but then you're still getting that beautiful texture from, from those papers. So that's the tag there. Now, <laughs> at the risk of sounding like the crazy beeswax lady, um, all of the, <laughs> all of the full sheets of Susan's kit in this journal are covered in beeswax. They're printed on cardstock first, so they're not as translucent as what you would have if they were printed um, on a just a regular copy paper, just a regular text weight paper. But but they, it just gives them a nice texture and I originally was just going to do the three sheets that were the first pages of each of the three signatures um, and and then I thought well let's just let's just go crazy and so there's lots of beeswax pages in here um, it gives it a nice sort of subtle if you kind of compare this background sheet here which um, has nothing extra done to it and this one you can kind of see it just sort of Oh, uh, I want to just say sort of mutes it just a tiny, ever so slightly, um, but it's beautiful. It's a nice texture, and so they're nicely, nicely protected. Little bumblebee guy here on on the edge, and then these are from it's um it's a series of books called Paperscapes, and they come punched out like this already, and so I've just um, pulled a few. I've got Paperscapes for butterflies, flowers trees. I think I've got three, maybe four of the books. Um, and I like using those pages in here just gives a nice little effect, a different look. And this is all tea dyed paper. Um, and then you get these little splotches here from, or I get them from uh, plastic placemats that I use on top. The pages are backed with um, another kit from Tracy and I'll have to look it up. I'll include it in the um, in my links below. Um, so they're like ledger kind of sheet, vintage looking ledger, ledger sheets. And this is from Tracy's kit. And this is from Susan's. Again, this is also beeswaxed. <laughs> and then on the back, I've just used some painter's masking paper um, so that there's extra writing space. I think I mentioned in my last video that I wanted this to be sort of a, a, a more simple, understated um, journal. I wanted there to be a ton of writing space in it. I just think given the, the times of our lives right now that a, a journal where you can write a lot, get your feelings out, your emotions out, talk about your day, talk about uh, coronavirus and all that fun stuff. Um, I just thought that that would, would work really beautifully with this kit. It also, or you can do sketches. It's called the sketchbook, right? I mean, you can do anything you want with those pages. There's a little pocket created with um, part of Susan's kit, and I've just added some vintage doily, the corner of a vintage doily piece down here at the bottom, sewn around the edge. And then this is a tag from Tracy's kit. And this is just a vintage, <laughs> it's a vintage um, card deck, flash card deck that I have. And since Susan's kit is called Forest Morning, I thought ing would be a good one to, to, to include in there just for fun. More tea dyed paper. This is a vintage dictionary and it's somewhere in the pages here. Um, I've pulled the word sketch. So somewhere on one of these pages is the word sketch. And then I've lined this with um, some washi tape just to give it a little extra stability here on the spine. It's another page from Tracy's kit and another page from the um, the other kit. <laughs> I'll figure it out. This is from Edith Holden. And so I've just created a tiny a little, just a short sheet here. 
um, a pocket using Susan's kit with uh, one of the labels in Tracy's. And then this is a tag that I made. This is um, from an Edith Holden page. This is from Tracy's kit. And then this is just a vintage piece of um, end sheet here from an older book that I had. And then some, um, some yeah, what's that called? Cheesecloth <laughs> behind it. A little bit of sewing on the edge. And then this particular tag is backed with just a craft cardstock. So lots of nice writing space on that one. And then the Sari Silk Top. And more from the sketchbook. And this is the back side of that vintage dictionary. Here's a few more pages of tea dyed paper. And this is the back side of the other eco dyed print with um, more painter's masking tape. This is an envelope that I made. Um, I think I have a video where I showed I was playing with piano, player piano paper rolls and it's lined with that same end sheet from earlier. Um, this particular end sheet is, was so brittle and I just could only use it in gluing it flat down. Um, and so I've added it here with some book page and then I've just got a little tag tucked here in the pocket. I'll, I'll close that later. And then this is also a, a label from Tracy's kit. There's that, and more tea dyed paper. Here's the back side of that butterfly paper escapes page. And this is just, um, this is a sketch from a butterfly book that I have. Thought it was really cute and appropriate. And I've just backed it again with craft card stock. So it's a nice sturdy card. And I've just got it clipped in here with a little mini clip. All of the signatures, the front and back pages of the signatures are all lined with um, with lace. The first two are crochet and the back one is just a regular lace. And here's a, let me bring that up so you can see it. It's cute. It's a little, let's see. Well, let me come over here. There we go. There we go. It's a little embossed charm just tucked there on the side. More from Forest Morning. It's a beautiful kit, and the colors are absolutely gorgeous, by the way. Um, so if you like, you know, and like these, these page, this page here especially, would absolutely work backing it behind a tag or a journal card, um, because you could still write on that. It's still light enough. So it's just a beautiful, beautiful kit. And I've printed these kits, um, Tracy's too, as a matter of fact. Both of the kits that I've used, I've printed on a creamy colored stock, uh, cream colored cardstock for these, and then cream colored, like just a regular copy paper weight for the rest of the pages. Here's another page from that Paperscapes book and more tea dyed paper. This is a belly band that I created. It's just craft cardstock in the back and the top is, um, it's a, a handmade paper. It's sort of vintage and I just kind of wonky stitched all around it, added this lace piece and some pieces of hemp cord here down the middle. And I've just got it, uh, a postcard tucked in here and a piece from Tracy's kit tucked in there from the sketchbook. And there's another page from the sketchbook. This is a page from an Edith Holden book and I thought the colors just really, really worked so nicely. And then it is also lined with um, washi tape and a little extra washi tape here and there just to kind of add some interest to it. This is an envelope that I've just got tucked on here um, that came in Tracy's kit. And I've got it lined with um, papers from Susan's kit, again, that I printed out at a about 50% opacity, just so it has a more of a subtle look. It's just so pretty um, as a lining. And then a little piece of vintage doily flipped over the top edge there. And then I've got that clipped in with a, that's a Tim Holtz clip. Oops, clipped it too many pages. Let's try that again. And this is just a piece of old um, lined paper from who knows what, more from Tracy's. And, oops, and the center, I thought, uh, isn't that pretty? Oh, it's just so pretty. Uh, I really like this, just using it. This is probably one of my favorite pages in her kit. I just think it's gorgeous. This great big leaf and the colors and the blacks are the really dark colors she was able to get. It's just gorgeous. 
This is another one of those back sheets, and then I've added a, a die cut here, or a fussy cut flower. And there's the back side. And here is a pocket from Tracy's kit, and then I've just put a little bit of sewing on that. I didn't sew on these tags. Um, I was going to, and then I just decided not to. This one also has some vintage doily down here at the bottom, some labels from one of Tracy's kits, some music paper, a little tag from Tracy's kit, and then this gorgeous, gorgeous, look at the greens in that. Isn't that beautiful? Hopefully that comes out on camera. It's just so pretty from Susan Taylor Brown's Forest Morning. Oh, and this is backed with another one of the um, reduced opacity pages, pieces from Susan's kit. So pretty. And then this is an Edith Holden page here that I've got these setting on. There's the back of Edith. This is a, just a little, there's another Tracy page. This is a little, um, this is a seed envelope that I've had, it feels like forever. And I've got some old book page here with, I believe that's German. Um, and then a part of Susan's kit here and this beautiful dark colors. And then a part of Susan's. And I did not put anything in this flip out pocket. I left that empty so you can put whatever you want in it. Then over here, I've just got some, these are faux tea cards. Also, I think from Tracy Fox. Um, and then I've just got added in here another um, vintage flash card and it says home and I thought that was appropriate home with a capital H appropriate for um, for now for where we are so I've just got that tucked in there with the cards more tea dyed paper and this is the back side of the second paperscapes page and this is the end of the second signature Isn't that, oh, so pretty so, so pretty. On this signature, I have a little, it's a little um, tumbled rock. It's very pretty. It's browns and blacks. And so I just have that little charm hanging there with some vintage lace here on the side. This is a little pocket I made from um, an envelope that I already had. I added some vintage lace and a little button down here. And then I used more of Susan's Forest morning paper. Same here. I backed the tag with uh, forest morning first and then added some sewing on to top of some little cards that are in Tracy's kit and this is just backed with um, that's that masking painters masking paper there on the back and a little wheel tail tab there another paperscapes page more tea dyed paper and then here's another one of so there are a total of six um, pages so so actually that gives you 12 um, pages I should say there's six sheets of Susan's eco dyed full pages um, in here from forest morning so that gives you a total of um, 12 pages where the backs of them have um, the backs of, of half of them have the painters masking paper more tea dyed paper this is a, a page from um, Butterfly Book, the same one where that sketch came from. I thought those were gorgeous and worked well. And then this is another Edith Holden page here. And I've got that as the center with the butterflies and the flowers. Isn't that pretty? I love her work. And then on this side, I've added a, a pocket here from the sketchbook kit, a little bit of sewing on it, not much. And then I've created another tag from Susan Taylor Brown's Forest Morning, using that as the background paper, and then adding faux tea cards, some music paper, a little label, some more of that um, vintage, that old end paper sheet I had. And this one, um, this was the last tag I made, and I kind of had run out of the pages that I had printed from Susan's kit where I did the reduced opacity. And so I just backed this one with, um, that's a sheet from one of Tim Holtz's paper kits that I just had lying here on the desk while I was working on it. And I thought that was kind of cute. So that was not a tag that you, you maybe necessarily could write on, but um, that's okay. That's okay. And here's the back side of that butterfly book page, more tea dyed paper. 
Here's another pocket that I created. Look at the purples. Let me bring that up. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? It is so pretty. And I added down here at the bottom, I just added a little flower from a vintage um, doily that I had with some cheesecloth behind it. And then in the pocket, I've got, um, this is a piece. This is a piece from a book that I had that I've just trimmed out and backed with some of that um, lower opacity paper of Susan's. And then another tag from, from uh, the sketchbook. And again, backed. Pretty. Okay, sorry for that delivery. They will never get used to um, the UPS man, I think, as long as they live. So, <laughs> I don't know where I was, but I think I showed you everything in here. This is the back another of another one of those um, beeswaxed sheets from Susan's kit. So pretty. More tea dyed paper. In the back of that last paperscape sheet. And then here's the end of the signature. Now in the back of the journal, I have another pocket from that same vintage handkerchief. And in here, I've just added a tag backed with Susan's paper. And a postcard that says everything will be okay in the end. If it's not okay, it's not the end. I thought that was also appropriate. I just tucked that in there. And that's it. Um, let's see. Here's the back of the journal. I can't remember if I showed that to you or not, but it's just plain. And there we go. That is the sketchbook. I will... Um, there, I might have an interest in this, but if not, I will post this to my Etsy shop. Um, let's say, well, let's do this. By the time uh, you watch this video, if you're watching this video and it's aired, then this has already been posted to my Etsy shop, unless it was um, spoken for beforehand. But if it, if it does end up getting spoken for beforehand, I'll mark sold in the description here on YouTube. Okay, so that's the sketchbook. Thank you for watching. Um, thank you for following along on the journey here. Uh, stay tuned. I will start a new journal here shortly. But until then, thank you all so much for being here, and um, we'll talk soon. Bye.